Hello, I'm John Johnson, Editor-in-Chief of Secrets of Home Theater and High Fidelity. This is a Secret Solutions video, and the subject is by wiring and by amplifying. Here is an AV123 Emotiva multi-channel amplifier with two amplifier modules showing. For both by wiring and by amplifying, two speaker cables are needed. And in the case of by wiring, you connect both speaker cables to the same amplifier module. In the case of by amplifying, you connect one speaker cable to one power amplifier output and the second speaker cable to a second power amplifier output. In other words, the two speaker cables are connected to two separate power amplifiers. The other ends of the speaker cables will be connected to the speaker. And in order to do by wiring or by amplifying of a speaker, you need a speaker that allows you to separate the input to the tweeter from the input to the woofer, such as on this Paradigm Studio 20 version 3 speaker. And that's done by removing these two bus bars. I have now removed the bus bars that connect the tweeter and the woofer on the speaker. And for both by wiring and by amplifying, you connect one speaker cable to the tweeter input and one speaker cable to the woofer input. For by wiring, you don't need any special settings on your receiver. But for by amplifying, you need to be able to assign the output of the channel that you're by amplifying to drive two separate power amplifiers. This new Denon AVR4806 receiver is capable of both by wiring and by amplifying. By simply assigning one of the side or rear channels to duplicate the front channel, you can have two power amplifier outputs to drive the front speaker, one of which can be used to drive the tweeter and the other can be used to drive the woofer. Again, by amplifying as with by wiring, one speaker cable to the tweeter, one speaker cable to the woofer, bus bars both removed. I hope that you have found this Secret Solutions video for by wiring and by amplifying helpful. Thanks for watching.